हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विनायक तपासे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट टी एस एस एम बी एस सी आर नरे पुणे Find out 
using separate interval rate. And it has a very simple formula mass of dry steel divided by mass of proton steel, which is nothing but the addition of mass of dry steel and mass of dry steel. So all these values MS and MW are already we have found out here MS, here is MW. So we can find the value of X1. Now there is another device which is nothing but throttling device. So this throttling device it has its another calculation to find another dryness fraction of the steam but in this case the steam is dry, dry enough. It has very less amount of water particles. Now we are using steady flow energy equation of throttling device. It shows enthalpy power throttling H1 is equal to enthalpy after throttling that is H2. Ultimately we assume throttling uh, process is isenthalpic process in which the steam before throttling is somewhat wet, somewhat wet. and enthalpy uh, sorry steam after throttling it is entering in superheated So we can see here we are having the formula where the steam is wet HF plus X2 HFG but in this case the pressure of this is P1. Now we can say HF plus X2 HFG at P1 is equal to we already declared that steam is becoming superheated when it is passed through a throttling device so it becomes H2 but the pressure and temperature is this one pressure P2 at temperature T2 so we can put the values we find X2 is equal to H2 at P2 T2 minus HF at P1 divided by HFG at P1 so we are having two different values of dryness fraction one is according to separating calorimeter another is according to throttling calorimeter now whenever we are using entire setup as a one that is combined separating and throttling calorimeter the dryness fraction is then we can say actual dryness fraction x is x is equal to x1 into x that's it now we will see actual setup of separating and throttling calorimeter it is available in our laboratory so you can see next to it next to me is black color shell which is nothing but the boiler that boiler is connected with the electric heaters which are for the given electrical connections uh, so with the help of this electrical heaters the water which is kept inside the boiler is getting boiled and the steam which is generated in the boiler that is further passed through our device now you here you can notice the pressure of the boiler this one it is also called as PB this is the wall through which we are taking our sample steam for checking purpose so you have to open this wall completely so right now you can see the pressure inside this is at around 1.1 bar 1.1 bar so once we open this the steam will go out it will come into the separating calorimeter above which there is another pressure gauge that is our P1 this one so this P1 value should matches with this PB hence we can say this wall is completely open once this steam is passed to the separating calorimeter so this separating calorimeter is having a opening and a wall at the bottom side we have to collect the wet particles through this pipeline in the jar so we will put this pipe in this measuring jar and we will open this pipe so whatever wet particles are there that particles will get dropped into the collecting jar further in continuation there is a throttling device so this throttling device is having a throttling chamber in which the steam is throttled and its pressure gets dropped to the P2 and we can easily see the difference between pressure P1 pressure P1 and pressure P2 this pressure P1 and P2 
and alongside the temperature T1 this one and temperature T2 this one we can measure on this measuring device so the reading required for our purpose is MW P1 MW P1 P2 P2 temperature T1 temperature T2 further on this throttle steam is given to a condenser device so this condenser is connected to the cooling water circuit cooling water is getting into the condenser here at the bottom it is leaving the condenser at the top side and whatever steam is going to the condenser that will be condensed and that condensed steam is further collected in another jar by opening the valve so we will have another reading that is ms so that is all about our practical setup now we will see sample calculation now we will see the calculation part so just now we have seen uh, experimental setup and already we have seen theoretical part now let us go to the observation table according to this setup we find the values of p1 t1 p2 t2 and ms like p2 bar t1 bar t1 is 1.2 degree celsius p2 is 0.8 bar t2 is 101 degree celsius and the mass of water collected in uh, after separating the water that is 26 ml whereas mass of dry steam collected after condenser is 53 ml now let us go to the calculation we will see what happens so let us go to the x1 so we know mass of steam dry steam divided by mass of water steam if we see mass of dry steam is 53 whereas mass of total steam is nothing but mass of dry steam 53 plus mass of wet steam that is 26 doing this calculation we will get the answer is equal to 0 0.6708 or simply we can say 67.08 now let us move to the next calculation that is nothing but x2 to find x2 we all need the value of hf hfg and the pressure p1 where the pressure p1 is 2.2 bar so using steam table we find this value of hf is 517.6 this value of hfg is 2193.0 and the value of h2 at pressure p2 and temperature p2 pressure p2 is 0.8 bar and temperature is at around 100 degrees Celsius. You can see here it is 101, but it is nearly 100 degrees Celsius. So, using steam table of superheated region for uh, steam at pressure P2.8 bar and temperature P2 101 degrees Celsius, we found that value 2678.8. Now, by doing this calculation, We got the value of x2 is equal to 0 0.985 something. And again, once we find the value of x2 and the value of x1 separately, now we can find the value of actual transaction x. That is equal to x1 into x. So x1 is 0 0.0.6708 multiplied by x2 is 0 0.985 and that's equation 
जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन जीरो एट मल्टीप्लाइड बाय पॉइंट नाइन एट फाइव सो दैट कैलकुलेशन इज समिंग आराउंड जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स जीरो सेवन दैट इज आवर ट्रांसफ्रेक्शन ऑफ स्टीम If you want to find the value of transfection, actual transfection, using this entire setup, the value is x is equal to x one into x two, and that is coming zero point six six zero seven. The value which is available here zero point six six zero seven means out of total steam, the uh, dry steam available is. 66.07 percent and remaining at around 33.92 percent steam is in bed particles. So that is the meaning of this transaction. Now available heading of X1 is 0.6708. Available heading of X2 is Zero point nine eight five, and the reading of X is zero point six six zero seven, or sixty six point zero seven. Thank you.